Hi friends, welcome to your channel Travel Story Connecting Free Minds. So it's it's another day, 29th August. Right now it's 10:30 a.m. in the morning, and let me see, it's Saturday. So it's usually my uh, the day for doing the daily grocery item shopping. So where I usually go and what I do and how I purchase the item. So let me show you a glimpse of that. So but. Before that, as I mentioned in my previous vlogs also, our travelers' first check is to check how the weather is right now. And our best way to do so is to open our main window and see how the weather is. It's a bit of cloudy, uh, but still, as per the forecast, there's not going to be any rain. So yeah, there's less risk, and let's start. Okay, so it's now time. To leave for the Saturday market, let's go. Come follow me. Okay, let's follow the lead. This is our apartment lift, and we need to go to downstairs where I have my bike. Or in India, it's known as bicycle. Each of the apartment owner have their own storeroom where they keep bikes and other important items. Which are not used on a daily basis. So my bike is out from the storeroom, and it's time to go out. Let me open the door. Friends, in my previous videos, I have already clearly explained like how the infrastructures are built in Netherlands. So, as you can see, on my way to Saturday Market, the entire road that I am following is meant for the cycles. And as you can see, it's a smooth ride. It takes around 10 minutes to travel by bike from my apartment to the place where Saturday markets are being held every week. Hi friends, right now we are in front of the Saturday market. We just reached the Saturday market. I parked my bike over there in the parking place and now we will enter the Saturday market. Okay, let's follow. So the first series of shops that you will see are meant for the garments. You can see here. Even you get uh, t-shirts of uh, TikTok, you can see. 
So this is a shop which sells which sells the covers of the phones ranging from iPhone to Huawei, Samsung and others. This is quite a happening place. You will find lots of different types of shops over here, ranging from shops uh, related to uh, the daily uh, items like groceries, and then you have the cheese shops, you have the meat shop over here. So these are shoe shops, shoes made for the kids as well as for the elders. And then once again, I can see a long queue of shops for clothes. I Everything starting from the seat of the bike, then the different carriers and the rims of the wheels. As we also mentioned earlier, cheese is one of the favorite items of the people over here in Netherlands and cheese are being exported to the different parts of the world also. So let's uh, give a small tour of one of the cheese shop which is available over here. So you can see the different varieties of cheeses that are available. The cheeses are categorized based on the percentage of fat they have in them. You can get small pieces of cheese, those which are packed over here, as well as cheese, you can cut it from the normal big ones. What I understood is like uh, the cheese over here, the Kono Kas. This is one of the favorite cheese of the people over here because of its taste and the Grand Cru cheese. This is also quite famous for its taste. You can see here it shows 18% weight that means 18% of fat is there in this particular cheese. And here you see 30 plus that means the percentage of fat in this variety of cheese is more than 30 percent. So this is the most uh, busiest road in the entire Saturday market you can see here. As I mentioned, there are different varieties of uh, bags uh, or parcels which are also being sold over here in Saturday market. You can see from ladies' bags to men. And most importantly, you have the flower shops also, the freshly bought flowers from the garden. You can see the different varieties of flowers over here. So if you are 
on a lookout for fresh flowers of different varieties if you want to prepare a bouquet for your loved ones or if there is a birthday or any ceremonies this is the right place to fetch the right type of flowers with the good fragrance Okay, thank you. The blue one looks really amazing. Thank you. So this is the place for the entire vegetables, fruits. We have different varieties of fruits, vegetables over here. These are all freshly brought from the farm. so there is hardly any chance that you will get items which are rotten or which are been kept for quite long time you have fresh juice which are also bottled and sold here the different varieties of juice over here you have uh, fresh tomatoes then you have cherry tomatoes over here you have with loaf you have strawberries sweet potatoes radish Hi friends, every Saturday whenever I come to Saturday market for buying eggs, this is the shop which I usually come for buying the eggs and the eggs are of really of high quality. This is the shop. And you can see there's a long queue 
because the eggs are of really good quality over here you have different sizes of eggs and of different variety you get both the varieties the red as well as the white and you can see here if i give you a closer view there are different sizes of eggs over here starting from the normal L to the medium L, XL and double XL. You need to say the size of the eggs and the price of the respective size of eggs are also given over here. So it's quite easy for anybody to understand what's the price. Friends, now we will enter into the another segment of the market. This is the fish market or the fish market which is known in Netherlands. And particularly I being a Bengali, uh, we have a great love for fish. So the first thing that I did when I came or landed in Netherlands is to find for the shops where can I find the fishes because fishes are integral part of our food. So let's see what are the different varieties of fish that we get over here. Okay, so I will just show you the different varieties of fish that are found over here. And as you can see here, the fishes are also cleaned properly so that you need to need not do anything once you take those fishes back at home. Uh, what is the name of this fish? Herring. 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 Okay, so these are herrings, and they can be directly consumed, right? It is not 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 to be cooked. No. have the frozen prawns and then you have the different varieties of fishes you have the kamilao you have victoria bus you have sea bars you have zalm which is also known as salmon so i usually go for salmon and sea bars so i like them really i also tried victoria bus so that's also very quite tasty you can get salmon in two types you can get it in a fillet as well as you can get into pieces like this so it all depends like how you want to get the fish size and these are the whole fish you have sea bars you can get the whole fish you can ask them to clean it and then you can check it and you have a dorado Doro, dorado is similar to the indian fish katla you have the mackerel over here the oysters you have different varieties of crab both the small as well as large and you have the special muzzles the same different varieties of fishes you can find you can also find octopus over here so these are the loaf breads So you see the different varieties of uh, cookies over here. They are really fresh and you can directly have it. You need not to worry about the digestion problem at least. And you have small fans to keep them fresh over here, right? Okay, to get rid of the flies and other wasps so that they do not uh, fall over here or sit here.
was also mentioning about uh, the fact that many farmers uh, sell their fresh milks and uh, different varieties of items out of the milk products in this Saturday market. So right now I'm just in front of one of those shops where two women are selling the milk, the fresh milks and the different dairy products along with the eggs. Friends, hope you would have liked this episode on a day trip to Saturday market in Eindhoven in Netherlands. Please do subscribe to my channel Travis Story and also click the bell icon so that you continue to receive all the latest updates related to my channel. Your feedbacks are very much essential so please do share your feedbacks in the comment section that will really encourage me and motivate me to continue this channel and share uh, new journeys and new places and the stories related to it in the future. Uh, travel journeys as well. Until then, this is SG signing off.